Hi there. Anybody that knows me well or has fished with me at all knows that I'm a dry fly nut. However, there are times when streamer fishing really turns my crank. So I'm going to show you one of my all-time favorite uh, streamer patterns. Um, it's kind of an evolution of a fly I also have on another YouTube video called uh, Yosemite Sam. This is kind of the next step in which I tie uh, it's a rabbit strip dace, I call it. It's got a black rabbit strip on top of the fly and a white one underneath, a pair of lead eyes. And uh, so I'll show you how I tie it. First thing I do is we have a, obviously a streamer hook in the vise here, and I tie these from size 8s down to size 4s. I don't go much bigger than that. So we're going to attach the uh, thread here at the front of the hook. And we're not going to cover the entire hook shank like we normally would with most flies because we're going to tie a set of eyes on here and then nothing else is going to get tied onto this fly behind the eyes. Everything, the only thing that's going to get tied on is going to be in front of the eyes. So here we go. I'm going to tie a pair of eyes on. I like using these red ones. I don't know why. Just uh, makes sexier looking flies I guess. Now you have to remember we're going to tie some rabbit strips on in front of this thing so we have to leave ourselves a little bit of room there to tie some rabbit strips on so we don't want to get too close. So the hook's in the vise in the normal way here and we're going to tie the flies or the, the eyes on top of the hook shank. But when we're finished this fly it's going to be inverted bend of the hook's going to be riding up and, and these will be kind of the below the hook shank when it's finished. You'll see what I mean. And what happens then is uh, it, it, the weight of the eyes actually makes this thing ride inverted all the time. And it's easy to see in the water that it does. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of rabbit fur on here, rabbit strip hide. And I like using the magnum rabbit strips because they're a little bit wider because we're going to poke a hole in this thing and pass the hook shank through it a couple times. So we need the, the wider rabbit strip is advantageous. So we want to hold it up here so that we have enough in front of the eye there to tie on. Then we're going to come back behind the eyes and with our scissors we're going to mark a hole and we're going to poke a hole I don't know if you can see, you can't really see it there, but there's a hole in the uh, in the hide right at that point. And then we're going to go back, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, poke another one. And so what we want to do here first is we're going to take and we're going to put the point of the hook through that first hole that we put in there. We're going to take the fly out of the vise, bring it around. And we're going to bring the, the, the point of the hook back through that second hole that we poked in there. Okay? And then we're going to put the hook back in the vise. Okay? Now we can slide this forward so it's at a point where we can tie that on. And before I, normally what I do is I taper this a little bit. I forgot to do that this time, but we'll do it now. Just taper that hide a little bit, makes it easier to tie on. So we'll get it up here, hold it in place, capture it with a thread, and tie it on. Right up in front of the eyes. Tie that on really well. Then we will come back here and just above the bend of the hook, we're going to trim this off. So just kind of slide your the point of your scissors in just above the hide and we'll trim it off at that point. So it's not very long, the white piece. Now the next step is we're going to take some some red rabbit strip. We're not going to tie the rabbit strip on. What we're going to do is we're just going to take a little clump of red fibers at the front of this. You wet them a bit, they stick together and easier to work with. And we're going to trim them off the hide 
and then that clump of red fibers are going to tie in right where we tied in the white right in front of the eyes. Now you can go in there and trim them off or you can just grab the red, red fibers and pull them back under a little bit and then tie them off at that point. So make sure that's all tied down there good. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take and we're going to take the hook out of the vise. We're going to invert it, and put it back in the vise. And so this is the way this fly is going to ride in the water, is this way. We're not, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a piece of black magnum rabbit strip. We're going to we're going to taper the front of that the way I was the way I meant to do on the white one before we tied it on. Then we're going to hold that so that the end of this is right in front of the eyes again where we're going to want to eventually tie it on and we're going to come back here and just behind where that second hole in the rabbit strip is just behind that we want to mark that and and poke a hole in that black stuff right at that point and then we're going to take our black rabbit strip and slide over the eye of that hook you have to take the uh, Hook out of the vise one more time, slip it around there, and then put the uh, hook back in the vise. Okay, and we're going to slide all that forward, and we're going to tie this black rabbit strip off in front of the eyes. So there's nothing tied onto the hook shank behind the eyes. Everything's tied on in front of the eyes. So there, we'll capture that. Pull all the fibers back out of the way, and Carefully wrap all this down. And that's it. We're done. We're just going to form a head with this thread here now. Came close to the eye of that hook, but I think we're okay. Should be able to get a tip it through there. And the only thing left to do now is to trim this rabbit off. And then you can leave that as long as you want. Uh, I should tie some four inch long, uh, some of these flies four inches long and use them for a big bull trout up in the Wigwam River when I was up guiding up there. But normally I tie them a little bit shorter. So you, once again, you have to remember that the, these fibers are going to be sticking back beyond where you cut it a little bit. So you have to have a look at it and say, I'm going to cut it off right about there. Gonna leave these black fibers hanging back about that far, which is further than the white ones do. And so there's my rabbit strip dace. Really a, a cool fly. I've caught a lot of fish on this fly over the years. Mm -hmm.